Hey there, I'm Jen, founder of Polistic Pole Yoga, and today we are in the kitchen and we are serving up some pineapple whip. This is a classic and we are veganizing it. Today we're gonna to be using pineapple and canned coconut milk. And you can also add any other fruit to this, like watermelon, raspberries, blueberries, mangoes, and you can really flavor it up in any way you like. Pineapple Whip is a Disney classic favorite. It began in Hawaii in 1950, and now it's served at the Dole Plantation in Hawaii, but it's also served at Six Flags and Disney's around the world. In this April, Dole actually started producing Pineapple Whip that you can find in freezers in grocers around the country. But today we're gonna to be making this with pineapple and canned coconut milk. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell so you stay up to date every time I post videos here on the Polistic Yoga YouTube channel. I'm passionate about finding food where you can feed your family on a budget that's quick and easy and that tastes good. I know it can be hard when you have kids and you're limited on time, so I really hope that these videos help you live your best life. Part of living your best life is movement, and that's why we do holistic pole yoga on the pole for 30 minutes and in the kitchen what we feed ourselves and the thoughts that we're thinking. So here on this holistic YouTube channel, I'm here to share these tips that can enrich your life in all the ways. Okay, let's get started. So instead of using fresh pineapple today, I got this frozen pineapple from Aldi. You know I love Aldi. And we're gonna start off with two cups of frozen pineapple. A little bit more than two cups, so we're gonna take a few pieces and throw it back in. We're gonna use this organic coconut milk. I stored it in the refrigerator, so it's gonna make the cream and the juice separate. And for this recipe, we're only gonna use the cream. So once it's in the refrigerator, it comes out hard like this. And we're not using this part just to make it a little bit more creamier. If you like it a little bit more juicier, you can definitely use this part, but I'm actually gonna save this and I'm gonna use it in a different smoothie that I make in the morning for my daughter. My daughter loves strawberry banana smoothies, so I will use that in the strawberry banana smoothie for her treat tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour this in here. And today we're using the Vitamix. This is my favorite mixer machine to use at home. And I've even used this very machine in a commercial setting. So your Vitamix is gonna be a lifelong investment. You can use any kind of sweetener you like. Today I'm gonna to use this maple syrup that I also got at Aldi. And if you've been watching this channel for any time, you know I am in love with the Aldi. And I just recently started shopping there, just, just a few months ago. I got a divorce last year, and then when I moved back home to Arkansas, there was a really nice Aldi right down the street from me and I love it. And then we're also gonna use a little bit of lemon juice. So I'm cutting this lemon in half, getting those seeds out, and then we're just gonna squeeze it in. Yes, I did wash my hands before, and I'm not serving this to the public, just my kids. So I'm not wearing gloves or hairnet. So that was two tablespoons of maple syrup, two cups of pineapple, your can of coconut milk without the juice, squeezing this lemon. I'm gonna squeeze half of this lemon in there. And then I'm gonna give it just a dash of salt. And then we're gonna blend it up. This is what it looks like now. So from here, you can put this in an airtight container in the freezer for about 20 minutes, and that's gonna make it harder. So if you wanna scoop it out more like ice cream, you can do that. But today, I'm gonna show you a trick how you can put it in a bag 
I don't have a piping bag today. So I'm just going to, I found this Wilton cake decorating head that I have. This is gonna help us get that swirl. So if you wanna serve it more like swirl ice cream. And if you wanna put it in this bag and put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes, then it's gonna also make it a little bit more stiff. Or you can just scoop it straight into a bowl or a cup and just eat it right away. It's really good. So here we go, we have our little homemade piping bag here and we're just going to squeeze it in. And this is going to give us that nice little swirly look. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to try it. Mm. It is so good. I was at the beach last week and there was a little yogurt place that was serving vegan pineapple whip. And what was funny is on the way there, I was actually thinking about making this video today and I was Googling pineapple whip recipes because I don't know what it is about being at the beach. I literally crave this. Try this recipe and let me know if you like it. It's vegan, gluten-free. You can also use stevia to sweeten it. So maybe you have somebody that needs to be lower sugar. This would still be adequate. Just a little treat would be really nice. You can try this. This is a perfect summertime treat. Let me know in the comments if you try this, how you like it, what modifications you make to it, or any additions that you add in. Thanks for joining me today in the kitchen. I look forward to seeing you next time. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it with anyone you know who's into healthy living. And be sure to click that notification bell so you stay up to date when I post new videos. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Namaste at the pole.